Yeah, it's been a while. Uh, good to be back at the races. Excited for today. Uh, it's a little chilly, a little rainy, so I'm not really sure what the track holds in store for us today, but we'll find out soon enough. Doesn't rain anymore, that'd be nice. Uh, we went to uh, the Pike Market, Pike's Place Market, checked out the, she wanted to check out the first Starbucks. Um, we then. We just looked at it though, was, the line was way too long. Yeah, the line like, was like at least 30 minutes to get inside. Just been training hard, just kind of like a, uh, another off season really, uh, kind of a, a long enough break that you can kind of build a little bit more and, uh, Rode a couple weeks of outdoors and stuff, and then um, just playing some golf. Me and Nate were playing a decent amount of golf, so that was fun. And uh, yeah, my dad's a golf course superintendent, and uh, whenever I was a kid, that was kind of he would have been happy if I was a golfer or soccer player, and he knew nothing about dirt bikes. So I'm not sure how we ended up here, but uh, didn't really like it as a as a kid. Um, played a little bit whenever I was like really little probably like five years old maybe did like a golf camp and uh wasn't really a fan so didn't touch a club again until I was like probably 12 years old 12 or 13 and then uh started playing and now I love golf uh, I try to play every chance I get and boom racing that covered stadium right there <laughs> with the retractable roof I guess I can't because maybe baseball season was about to start yeah only seasons I know is Supercross, Motocross, Golf, NFL. and NFL. Yeah, yeah unfortunately, what? unfortunately, I am a Panthers fan. <laughs> oh. What are we now? Are we still Panthers fans? Yeah, I guess. It's been a little tough to be a Panthers fan lately, but uh, we're holding strong. Are they calling for more rain? We've seen it on and off. Yeah. You know, it's Seattle. Yeah, you don't know. It's crazy how hard packed it is. They steamrolled it. Oh, they did? Before they covered it. Uh, that makes sense. It's not squishy. Yeah, it's going to be slick. <laughs> I'll take slick over, like, spongy deep rut. Yeah, true. Sure. It'll probably still get rutted. Yeah. Stay low. Instead of hitting all the high ones. Boosting three and not a problem. Yeah. Look at the starter. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah. The back side where they're rolling how soft they are. Look at the line in the whoops. It's like an on, it's like on, 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 on. Down the one lane. Part of the whoops. Head back. Uh, today's been off to a really good start. I'm second overall after qualifying. Um, it is the usual Seattle for us. We got some rain early. Now it's um, it's let off though, and we've been able to ride, you know, without it raining while we're riding. Um, it's it's like a combination. The dirt uh, has some decent base in some areas, but then in some spots we have some rut. So it's a little bit of a combo out there right now, but pretty normal for Seattle. It's been worse before. So uh, overall, I thought it was going to be worse, um, but we're getting around it. We're doing all the cool jump combinations, getting the triples going, um, even able to skim the whoop. So overall, it's pretty good. Cooper's feeling good. Uh, another wet, muddy race. So track is pretty tricky out there. Ended up third in qualifying overall. 
So uh, that's pretty good, and uh, hopefully the track crew brings the track around a little bit and uh, be good racing for the night show. And uh, we're in heat two, so hopefully uh, we can adapt to those track conditions quick and then be ready for the main event. Yeah, it's been a minute since I've been at the races, and uh, I had some injuries and uh, was experiencing some burnout. And man, I think uh, just the last couple of years, it was it was really difficult for me when I was put in situations to ride where I didn't feel like I was truly prepared. And uh, just battling through different injuries and and not getting you know enough time on the bike, I felt like before we were racing, and it's no fun to go and uh, you know try to race at the highest level when you're truly not prepared. And so. Uh, it was a big deal for me to take take the time necessary to be prepared because I, I didn't want to come in and be average. I wanted to come in and, and be relevant um, from the get-go. You know, I, I don't want to go battle for, you know, seventh, eighth place. I, I want to battle for wins and, and set myself ultimately to to battle for a championship um, in, the next, in the coming years. So uh, this partnership came together um, kind of right around Anaheim one time. I had reached out to them and honestly, I didn't, I didn't expect it to work out um, at all just because um, uh, a few reasons that I, I, I'm not going to share at this moment but uh, yeah I really didn't expect it to work out and I went out up there and had a really good trial run I was like on speed right away and I hadn't been riding supercross I hadn't ridden supercross in uh, you know I don't know 11 months or something or eight months and um, so day one we were we were right there and and the bikes the bikes were obviously good and suitable for me and so um, yeah, then we just kind of built from there. We had a couple, um, we had a couple little hiccups along the way, and every time it was like, look, I just want to do this right. So let's take the time to come in and be right. And uh, sure enough, we so we eventually circled uh, Seattle on on the calendar, and then sure enough, a, a week ago, I ended up injuring my ankle, and like bone bruise, ankle sprain. Uh, re-injury uh, of a torn ligament a deltoid in my left ankle and so I, I was really not sure um, if I was gonna race until after first practice this morning when I qualified first and it's like ah, I think we're gonna be good enough to race tonight. No he's he's been excited he's expressed to everyone that he, he's been excited to get back to the race. He, was, he didn't race a whole lot last year I don't think but yeah he's he's for sure excited to be here I don't I don't think he's too nervous at least he's not showing it to anyone. My, my gate drop was actually pretty good, but uh, not my best work. But um, I'll come into form here, see if we can uh, do a better job in the main. But yeah, kicking the rust off, it'll come off.
overall, a lot of positive to take away. Not the end result I want, and uh, certainly a lot to a lot to progress with. But hey, it's good to be back. It's good to see the whole industry. Really, all the it's a, really a family, and um, you know, you, you, so that's cliche. You don't know what you have until it's gone, and uh, so it's been good. Even seeing all the media guys and um, being a part of all the action again, it's been really cool. And I had a moment before the main event. I just looked up at the crowd, and uh, it's it's good to be back. So it's good to get good starts. And uh, considering I I didn't know if I was going to be able to ride today, um, I think that uh, I think it was pretty solid. So. Yeah, I mean uh, <clears throat> the day actually started out good. Um, you know we qualified okay. Um, guys were riding good, pretty happy with their bike. We made some changes between qualifier one and qualifier two. Um, obviously, with no pre-practice, we had to make decisions quick, and we made uh, some slight changes to the bike, and uh, everyone was really happy with it. Uh, went into the, the heat races. They were all three in heat two, and uh, Jordan ended up winning it. Nate went down on the start, fought his way back up into a qualifying spot. I think he was eighth, and then uh, Mosey fifth, or I think fifth. Um, so yeah, going into the into the main, Smitty had real good gate picks, riding really good, um, and uh, yeah, got off. All three guys, as crazy as they were scattered around on the gate for the main event start, they came out I think three, four, five, um, you know, which is pretty good. And Smitty found himself in second pretty early, and uh, was a little kind of yo-yoing with the leader as far as lap times go, and. Um, was just kind of going to settle, but then was kind of catching the leader still. So, um, you know, still needed to make the rhythms and whatnot. But the track was super rutted tonight. And um, I think he drug pegs or something, ended up coming up short on a, in a rhythm section and hit his chest on the bars, knocked the wind out of him. And it took him a while to get um, his breath back, got his breath back, got going. But it was a little bit, I think, I don't know if it was from his breath being you know, out of breath for some time. He got kind of lightheaded and made some kind of silly mistakes, but his bike was pretty twisted up from the crash. And, um, you know, so bummer night for Smitty. Um, you know, we're, we're 21 points out of the championship now, came in four down, now we're 21 down. Real bummer night for that, but um, cool to see Moseman. You know, he came away with a sixth. Uh, the team and him both expect a little bit better than that but knowing the circumstances we're happy with the sixth we'll keep fighting for podiums or wins with him um yeah and, and nate he had a pretty good race going he was actually catching third place at one point and um just had a slight bike malfunction and it caused him to have all sorts of troubles all the way around the track and then just went backwards so um bummer night in seattle kind of bummed to be honest but we'll keep working and um it's never over we got two east west shootouts still we got a triple crown next weekend and anything can happen so we'll keep fighting and yeah i think the guys are riding better than they ever have um they're happier with their bikes than they ever have been so yeah we'll just keep fighting for wins and let's hope we can win the last four <laughs> Man, it was really tough. I rode, uh, I didn't ride my best, but I uh, just put in good laps and got to the lead. We, we went back and forth and got really tight, but I uh, made it happen. And that's all that matters, you know, by five seconds or half second, that's all we need. So I'm super stoked. That was a, that was a damn good night, I would say. That was a big fight between Chase and Coop, and Coop came out victorious. Um, that's one thing about him. He'll, bike to death and uh, that was awesome good ride by Eli and Justin as well just got to be better off the gate for those boys it's hard with this field so uh, overall great night we needed that one it's big on the points for Coop
Well, I mean, sixth place isn't uh, anything I'm looking for. Um, I was able to move forward through the field there. Just got behind on the start. Um, it was frustrating because I felt pretty good throughout the whole day. Felt good in practice. Um, had a pretty good heat race there, getting second. And, you know, obviously want more. Um, did my best to move forward, which is what I did. And then, uh, you know, kind of stayed in six there. I felt like I, I, uh, I don't know, lost, lost a little bit of my charge, um, maybe with like five minutes to go. So um, made passes, but one and more. I'm looking forward to next weekend at St. Louis, really just because we're in a dome. Um, I want to get on some good dirt, something that's not totally rutted in a, in a you know, half a mud race. So I'm, I'm looking forward just to having some good dirt out there.